Hey guys, um, it's uh, 9.54 p.m. and it's the 10th of September and we're just going to the vet because Bimo is there at the moment but we're going because we have to go and put him down. I don't really want to vlog this but... So it's the first day without Vimo. It's 2.05 p.m. I didn't sleep until 7 this morning and I just woke up not too long ago. We've been like spending all morning like looking at videos and photos of Vimo. I guess it's like it's seriously it's times like these that I'm so happy that I record everything and I take so many pictures of anything because I have so many memories of him and it's so it makes me so happy but it's so weird like every morning Sam used to get the shit sometimes because the first thing I used to say every morning was um good morning Bimo like that was the first thing I used to say Bimo would like open his eyes when I say it and then he would wag his tail like he's still sleep like sleepy but his tail is like wagging every time I said good morning Bimo and then this morning I was just Coda and I went to say good morning to her but I said good morning Bimo and I was like oh, good morning Coda <laughs> I guess there's a lot of getting used to around here now because he was just everywhere like he'd follow you everywhere and actually last night I couldn't sleep and Coda couldn't sleep either and she kept walking around the house like leaving our bedroom going downstairs coming back up I feel like she was looking for him or I feel like he was there as weird as that might sound to some of you guys but then last night i brought her back into the room and i closed our bedroom door and she slept on the other side so the door's here and our bed's here and she slept on this side of the bed on sam's side and as i was just like laying there trying to sleep i heard a a jump at the door like a claw at the door and it sounded like beamer's little claws and the door like moved like as if he was trying to come in that's what I used to do when like you accident like I accidentally lock him out of the bedroom and he'd just do this one ch -ch, and like the door would move a bit I'm like oh crap and then, like open it and I thought it was Coda and I looked around and she was on all the way on the other side so weird but um Sam took the day off today and we're gonna just go out and 
try and take our mind off everything. But basically what happened was Bemo, so he'd been feeling unwell and then I took him back and he had antibiotics antibiotics all that long ago, like about a month ago and then he was actually getting better after the antibiotics he was heaps better he was like back to normal and then i'd say maybe the last week he declined like big time on saturday everyone came over and he loves keanu so he followed keanu everywhere that was also the most energetic i'd seen him that week when he was done he went back to the tp <laughs> and went to sleep and I closed it for him so that he wasn't like being distracted. Oh, actually, I think it was on Saturday as well. I noticed like his skin was going really yellow. Like his, his, his belly was yellow. On Sunday, he just wasn't the same anymore. Like there would be like random bursts of energy for him, but there wasn't. So, but then yeah, on Sunday night, so my birthday night, I just knew something was wrong. So I grabbed him and I, we like, I cuddled him to sleep that night. But I, I honestly thought he was gonna die that night. Like he was not, he did not look well. And then Monday, yesterday, I booked him in to go to the vet. And then that's when they said, um, cause every time he ate, his stomach would swell up. And the vet said he had to stay the night, you know, the same thing as last time, do blood tests. But we're at a different vet this time. We didn't go back to the vet before. Um, the one that stayed where, you know, we spent heaps of money and they told us they didn't know what was wrong um but basically she took blood and she called me straight away because she the vet was actually worried that he would actually die last night on his own and she didn't want that to happen because he would have been in a lot of pain so we had to leave him there to put be put on the IV and all that kind of stuff and then she called us back and she said that um the whole swelling in his stomach wasn't even his stomach anymore his liver was so um expanded and it was just full of um like little tumors it was non-operable but if it was operable like if it was in the spleen they could remove his spleen but he was so weak that he most likely wouldn't have made it through surgery and he wouldn't have had the proper stuff until thursday so they would have had to drag him out make him live till thursday to get more things and it was going to be putting him through all of that just for him to die anyway so we had to make the decision whether to put him down but i honestly thought he was going to die on sunday so we didn't want him to be in pain anymore um my family came and sam's family came he was surrounded by all of us when he died he died really peacefully too so that was good But it's good to still have Coda around. But it's like different because Coda loves other people. Like she, she's, she loves people so much. Like when she sees people other than us, she gets really excited because she loves company. Like she loves more. Like Bemo was just like us. He hated everybody except for like close family. But it was always us. Like he always wanted to be around us. So I think that's a little bit of the difference yeah i thought i would just let you guys know sorry about another depressing vlog but my channel is about my life and i'm not gonna sweet talk my life to you guys so thank you everybody for sending your well wishes we really appreciate it and we feel the love i'm not the first person that's lost a dog and i'm not the last so it's not the end of the world but the world is different without Beemo. But yeah, I'm gonna go shop now because that's what makes me feel better. <laughs> if I'm consistent enough, I'll see you guys on Friday. <laughs> Love you guys.